Ukraine asks U.S. to help locate targets in Russia, the New York Times. Kiev has urged Washington to provide intelligence on targets on Russian soil. As the Ukrainian armed forces lose ground on the battlefield, the New York Times reported, saying U.S. administration officials have begun to review the request. The Russian offensive in Kharkov region was facilitated by the U.S. restrictions, which are handcuffing the Ukrainian war effort, Kiev's delegation told Congress. According to news website Politico, intelligence from the U.S. and other allies on military targets on Russian soil would allow Ukraine to better plot approach routes for its drones and missiles, the newspaper said. With detailed terrain mapping, it would allow them to fly low and avoid radar detection, increasing their effectiveness. While Kiev already has access to commercial satellite imaging data, U.S. intelligence would provide more detailed and timely information, they wrote. General Charles Brown, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, confirmed that Kiev has been seeking to ramp up strikes inside Russia. The Ukrainians have been asking us for help to be able to strike into Russia, the US general told reporters while flying to Brussels for NATO meetings. State Secretary Antony Blinken stated that the US has left it up to Ukraine whether or not it uses US-supplied armaments to attack Russian territories. We have not encouraged or enabled strikes outside of Ukraine, but ultimately Ukraine has to make decisions for itself about how it's going to conduct this war, he told reporters in Kiev. In early May, British Foreign Secretary David Cameron said Kiev had the right to use UK-provided weaponry for cross-border strikes on Russian targets. Moscow condemned the remarks and summoned London's ambassador. Any use of British weapons against Russian territory could prompt Moscow to strike any British military facilities and equipment on the territory of Ukraine and beyond, the Russian Foreign Ministry warned. Radio Svoboda shows higher quality satellite images of Belbek airfield. The satellite images were taken over the airfield in Crimea on May 16. There was a fire in the parking lots of Su-27, Su-30 and MiG-31 aircraft. There may be more than three affected planes, as the satellite image does not show all the damage from the cluster warhead. The pictures also show the burnt-out warehouse of ammunition. Satellite images of the consequences of an Atakms cluster missile strike on the Belbek airfield. Traces of fire can be seen at the parking places of two MiG-31s and the ammunition warehouse. The news outlet KRYM Realii, which is part of US-funded network Radio Free Liberty, said the attack was carried out in two waves, and after the second, several explosions similar to detonation were heard. KRYM Realii said that its data showed that at the airfield were based 12 Sukhoi Su-27 aircraft, 12 Sukhoi Su-27SM aircraft, and 3 Sukhoi Su-27UB combat training aircraft, as well as 5 two-seat Sukhoi Su-30M2, a total of 32 jets. The post did not outline whether the aircraft were damaged and that, it is unclear whether the fire was caused by a missile strike. The exact number of missiles involved is unclear, but Russian military blogger Rybar said the attack involved 16 Atakms missiles, which last month the US said it had given Kiev. Unfortunately, one or two missiles could not be shot down and the consequences of this have been revealed to the whole world, thanks to the publication of a video from a CCTV camera, the Post said. How and why this is still possible in the third year of the war has long been a rhetorical question. The Russian Defense Ministry said that its air defenses had thwarted the attack by downing 10 long-range missiles. Local residents told the ASTRA Telegram channel that there were about 20 missiles fired.